is Jason Jones. I'm a police officer with 41 Division, Toronto Police. I'm assigned to the Oak Ridge community as a neighborhood officer. And uh, this is my office. Scout car 4106. It's a uh, neighborhood officer vehicle. And uh, if you want to come on in and take a look inside, Hey everybody, I will be giving away the car addiction window stickers to one lucky subscriber every month. So please hit the subscribe button right away. We have uh, our computer where we can do our checks. And on my dashboard, I have what they call a mobile radar system, which I can accurately determine the speed of moving motor vehicles while I'm driving around. Okay. So, uh can you monitor the speed of the vehicle while you're also moving or? Yes. Oh. Yeah. So I can do it while I'm moving or while I'm stopped uh, with this with this device. And, and gone are the days with the holding the speed gun. Oh, we still do that too. Okay. Um, but this one is uh, only for vehicle traffic coming towards you or going away from you. And you can get, there's an antenna in the front of the car and there's an antenna in the back of the car as well. Which, okay. which gets the speeds of the vehicles. So now, can, while you are driving around, how many vehicles you can simultaneously monitor? Uh, well, usually the first two vehicles coming towards me. In that. Or in the back. Or if someone's going faster, then it'll pick up the faster vehicle. Okay. So if two slower cars are in front, it'll pick up the faster car in behind. So you have to use your visual observations along okay. with the device as well. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. All so, right. So let's get in. You want to go around the other side and hop in? Sure. So from the doors and this section is just a stock vehicle and it's basically the center is the fancy. Well, yeah, basically they rip the interior out of the vehicle and we make it our own. Um, yeah. Because we have to put our own cages in. Okay. Like our own uh, privacy shield. So is it also uh, some sort of a bulletproof or? It's, no, it's not bulletproof. No, just like shatterproof. Okay. So you can't break through it. And have, uh, the documents in the back, can they hear you talk? Or Yeah, so the whole vehicle is equipped with uh, microphones okay. and cameras. So there's a camera for the back seat. Okay. And the vehicle has a camera in the front to record anything out, out front of the vehicle. Awesome. Uh, so uh, do you guys also wear a... Uh, a microphone, mic yes. Oh. So we remove a microphone here. Okay. And it goes on our... Oh, the, these are the charging stations. Yep. Right? yep. Wow. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. So, All right. So, uh, what kind of computer system is this? So this is just our, it's our Motorola. Uh, um, they call it a CAD system. Okay. Um, and it can, it just dispatches your calls. You can do inquiries on this on this machine, and then we do all our reports as well. Wow. And then this is uh, the remote for controlling the, oh, the, the radar. I can spend days on that remote. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm telling you. And of course, we have our police radio. Yes. And then this is our printer for printing out reports and printing out tickets. And then we have the... So, oh, so I always... Well, so, but I was always under the impression that uh, you had a pad, you write we it We used to, yes. So, well, actually, we still have them. Okay. So if officers are on bicycles or on other um, uh, cars that don't have printers, okay. then we still handwrite tickets. If not, we just print them. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Technology has come a long way. Oh, my God. Now, uh, you don't have, uh, maybe not on this car, where they automatically read the license plates? No, not on this car. Okay. So there's only, I think, our service only has two vehicles or three vehicles that have that license plate reader system. Um, otherwise, it's all us doing it manually. Here. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Well, especially when you're driving. Yeah. So. All right. Because uh, I live in Georgetown. Oh, okay. And uh, I'm, I, I live on Highway 7. Yep. And... Uh, the, the local uh, Halton Hills cops. I know these guys because they always park beside my house. <laughs> Here's why. Um, I am on the country, so where they park, they have the fastest response time to Georgetown or Acton. Oh, okay. Right, so they are. Oh, I know or, exactly what you're talking about then, yeah. Because I got family in Acton, so. Oh, okay, so yeah. Optimist Club. Okay. That's where they park. Oh, and right. my house is with Optimist Club. But sometimes they literally park on the shoulder of the road yeah. and uh, i see them just uh, looking at the screen and i can s i notice they have a set of cameras on the front on an angle front and back yep so i that's guess license plate readers okay yep. oh man yep so our parking saturday morning album. saturday and sunday morning these guys are busy <laughs> oh yeah yep um what else do we have oh i guess some uh most other services have the spotlights that are on the outside of the okay. car. We have a handheld one, so we can 
because uh, because you're, uh, you're mostly on the neighborhoods and everything. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So. Awesome. That. So, uh, do you have two f two fuel tanks or uh, one? Oh, just one. Just one. Yep. Okay, and uh, you can never shut off your car. Oh no, we can shut it off. You do? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, but if we're gonna be, uh, we shut it off if we're gonna be out of the car for a long period of time. Okay. Um, but uh, because the computer computer system uh, automatically shuts down. Okay. Uh, but if we leave the car running, then all the equipment stays running. Okay. And that so. Like if we're doing an accident or if we're blocking traffic and stuff like that, then the car stays running because yes. we need all the computers to yes. be running and stuff. So awesome. Yeah, so um, can you show me the back seat? Sure. Yep. The <laughs> you don't want to go into it. No, no. <laughs> oh man. It's not the. Uh, this is the danger spot. It's not the it's the most comfortable and it's not the most spacious. Oh my god. This is tight. It is very tight. Yeah. Very tight. How do you put big guys in there? You have to put them in rear end first and then they sit with their legs straddled across the seat. It must be a struggle when they're not trying to get in. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god. It could be challenging. I, I bet it is. Um, so and yeah, in, well, in the middle of the vehicle, so we have our shotgun or C8 mount. Okay. And that, that's why it sticks out in the back seat. Uh, okay. Because we have to. Toronto Police custom built this to, to fit this car. So, uh, you know, after these cars are done with their life, they go to an auction. Yep. So somebody takes everything away. Uh, our um, our fleet uh, our fleet guys strip the car down to what it was before. Even the middle. Yeah, everything comes out. Wow. Yep. Wow. What's in the trunk? If you don't mind me asking. It's just a computer hard drive and just equipment. That's, wow, that's, that's a lot of equipment. And it's my off, that's my partner. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> oh my it's God. good for when the kids are around. Yes, absolutely. So, so I guess that's a computer hard drive or? This is all computer yep, software and stuff. So uh, is the car uh, online all the time or? Uh, when it's operating. Okay, so, so it's like we start the computer up, then it's online. So hypothetically, let's say you pull me over, uh, you run my plates. Can you run my insurance too? No, we don't have access to insurance. No. How do you know if I don't have? Well, I don't. That's why. I did, that's why we ask you for your insurance slip. Yeah, and that's your proof of insurance. So we have to take it on face value. Then it's still valid. If we suspect it's not valid, then we actually have to physically call your insurance company. Okay. So. And I'm sure you guys do that. Yep. All right. Well, awesome. You want to see the lights? Yes. Oh. <laughs> then we have like takedown lights. So the lights also have a language of their own, right? Yes. So uh, what does the different, I guess... Uh... Well, the red and blue are standard for police. Okay. Um, and then, well, actually, all, those, all the emergency vehicles will be equipped eventually. Like Toronto Fire, or, sorry, Fire and Ambulance, they'll all have blue and, uh, blue and red lights because okay. uh, the blue stands out better in bad weather. So... Fair enough. And um, some cars, I noticed, uh, they can... Let's just pull somebody off and... They only have the back lights going and the yep. front lights not. Yep, so I can do that. All right. Man, that is so cool. You know, what if one of my next car is going to be a retired uh, Ford Explorer. Oh yeah. Preferably black, tinted yep. windows with those reefs. Yep. And I just want to fuck people. 
That's you, awesome. You know, I just want to be on the highway. So every time we activate our lights, yes, uh, or we hit our siren, okay, and that, um, our camera comes on automatic. Automatically. So okay. So it's on right now. You're being recorded. <laughs> awesome, man. This is, you know, um, uh, the interceptor technology from the '80s to today. It's, oh yeah. It's been awesome. But but actually, the, the, this car compared to the Crown Vic, like wintertime driving, this is all-wheel drive. Oh my god. So this is way better. Yes, it's absolutely. It's drive in the wintertime. Yeah. Those but, Crown Vics were horrible. Uh, back in the day, I, I, I don't know when you joined the force. 19 uh, years ago. Wow. 2000. Wow. Year 2000. Yeah. Some time? Yep. You've seen a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't know if you know, um, I guess, late 70s or early 80s, when they had the, the Mustang 5.0s. Oh yeah. Oh my God. The Camaros. <sighs> yep. Yeah. It didn't last very long. Yes, because of the fuel craze, but. <laughs> no, they got smashed up. Why? Because they weren't good highway patrol vehicles. So I, it was, they were assigned to our highway patrol division. Okay. And they didn't handle very well on our DVP and Gardner. And okay. So yeah, they all end up in accidents. Yeah. That is alarming and sad because when you guys are chasing somebody, you're chasing somebody, you know, you're not... Not very often now. No, I know, but yep. you guys do that. Yep. It is part of your job, you know? Yep. It's, uh... But these handle way better than even the Crown Vicks did, so... I'm sure they do. So, and they're not making... Ford's not making these anymore, so now every, all, the, every, all police services will be Ford Explorers. Yes. Or but, the but you know that? Chargers? Yeah. The Ford Explorer, uh, they have the 2.7 twin turbo. Right. The same motor in the Ford GT. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, it's wow. the same motor in a Ford GT, the same block. Yeah. And they figured out a way to make 700 horsepower out of it. But again, <laughs> I, I respect that motor. It's like from a car guy point of view. Yeah. I respect it. I don't want to mess with it. Yeah. You know? And the, it. the other thing is, we, we went to LED lights, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, we used to just have the rotating ones. So we do have like, different settings on here. So we can go to level two, okay. which is just, just the LEDs. All right. Right, and then if I put level three on, and which is all of them, it's the rotators as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm telling you, man. I need it. I'm gonna buy one one day. <laughs> uh, it is amazing. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. you so much for your time. You're welcome. And, uh, giving me a hope that helps. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm sure uh, the guys are gonna be stoked. Okay. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank all right. You. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too.